Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can see material documents, document flow, okay, with GR, if it's for rich PO and all those things, how we can see all this, this is very important, okay. So uh, here, this is the, the SQL view that you should be using, okay, it's a CDS view, and here you can select this, and here you can execute for everything, and you can see all the starting documents, and what are the endings so if you see this is the starting document and what type of document it is and here you can select and you can get the subsequent document and this is very useful in generating a type of graph and whatever you want so i'm just giving an example mm, let's take an example on the view side okay so let's do and select uh, what are these not this one but we'll go up a few okay let's see this so if you see 373 subsequent is this so here 2018 material document so we go down completely down the line these are five zeros. Now to get some, so let's see. Let's do one thing. We'll search with qualified. Okay. Make life easier. So here, if you notice, this is 45. Control Y, Control C. And we go to ME23N, transaction code. And here, we search with this PO number. And this, this thing is available in the EKB table also, if you notice. But here you can see, this is this, this is 500505. So let's see, this shows 50050. Okay, now, I search with this. Here, does it give anything? Yes, yeah, see, it gives me subsequent numbers, 50050216. And this is the... The other document also it shows so this is pretty slick you can get all this information okay now if i search with this number i only get the subsequent document number, which is the uh, goods receipt number okay i don't get the invoice number but that's because this is mm related stuff that's why so that's it. Stay tuned to my SFT channel and happy SFT learning. And if you like to share and subscribe to it.